All right, guys, and we are back. So back to what I was saying. Um, my not I don't want to say dream because this is not a dream, but my motivation for doing this has always driven me to do one thing, and it's gonna sound cheesy, um, and that's having people watch me play video games just for the heck of it. Um, so okay, it started off with my cousins, right? I had um. I had a lot of cousins that used to like watching me play video games, and back then it was the N64 era, so people used to like to. Well, I don't. I don't want to say people. I want to say my my family because they are my cousins. But well, I'm not close to my family. That clo I'm not that close anymore. But that's a story for another day. But uh, back then, um, it was kind of cool to have my cousins watch me play Perfect Dark, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, Duke Nukem, or. Um, what else? What else did I play? Pokemon Stadium, uh, Ma uh, wait, Mario Kart 64. What else? What I have? Star Fox 64. Um, yeah. So all these games, uh, my cousins used to love watching me play. And I remember this was when the era of my cousin coming over to New York was about to end um, because of some stuff of you know a financial or whatever. Um, th this was like their last time they came, but before they came in, my cousins would love to watch me play WWE SmackDown vs. Raw, uh, because there was a storyline, and the storyline was very good, so they used to watch me play that all the time, to the point where I think we played GM mode together, uh, just to have that, uh, sort of cinematic feeling to it, because in GM mode we can create our own storyline. Now, there was this one game, where, um... I sort of, it, it, I really felt like a let's player because this is how let's players sh like kind of should feel like, right? Uh, oh, I imagine how they feel like because um, that's how I feel when I'm the audience of a let's player because I have people that I watch on, you know, on YouTube. So, we were playing Final Fantasy X. Uh, Final Fantasy X for me holds a special place in my heart because it's something that got my cousins very interested in. It's something very... The storyline was amazing. Um, we discovered new emotions. We discovered one of my cousins that he's not a badass as we thought he was because he started crying at the end of the Final Fantasy X. Which is, you know, awesome, whatever. But that was the moment where, where every time I look back at it now, I honestly felt like, wow, I was actually a Let's Player back then. I was actually, uh, you know... I actually did Let's Plays, but for my family. So, it was sort of cool. I kind of liked it, because it was like, okay, I'm, and, and what was cool about it is that I played Final Fantasy X so much. So much so that it was just like, I kind of knew a lot of things already. Now, I had played Final Fantasy X in the past, and then when my cousins came over, I played it for them, too. Um, now, the thing is, though, is that that feeling was amazing um, to the point where I think a couple of years later I wanted to recreate that of course I lost my vision and I got caught up in the hype of other people doing different things like some people did only let's plays for GTA and I was like oh my god I want to do that too and then other people did Pokemon let's plays and I was like oh I can do that too people dedicated Nintendo I lost my vision I lost my way about it so ever since that, um, I really lost what I was trying to go for. Um, now, coming back to now current events, I think about that moment, it's like, wow, that was an awesome feeling to be able to share those experiences with, with other people. So it's going to sound corny, but I would like to recreate that. Um, that's why I'm starting with like different, let the, different games or whatever, just playing that. But it's not, it's not going to hit home They're until... I do let's play Final Fantasy X. Uh, for me, after that, I don't know where it's gonna hit, but I'm gonna do it only when I reach a thousand subscribers. Um, that's the only time I'll do it. And the only reason I'm saying a thousand is because it'll be nice to get paid because I am planning on doing something really big for it. And apparently, now this is apparently, um, the only reason I said a thousand, it could be less considering if I find out it's not even worth waiting that long because YouTube will probably pay like shit. 
It's not that I need the money, but it's just that I will be dedicating a lot of time to it, considering Final Fantasy games usually tend to last around 20 to 30 hours, and it will take up a lot of my time, so I would like to see some compensation to it towards YouTube, not towards the fan. I would never charge my cousins, hey, listen, pay me to pay this game. No, I'll never do that. But... I want to see if I can get some money off YouTube. Uh, that's the main thing. If I if it's not even worth it, then I'll probably do it when it's like 500 subscribers, right? Because also keep in mind, it's not just about the money. I also want an audience. Um, I also want people because I want to recreate that thing that I had in the past with my cousins. So that, as cheesy as it sounds, that's the goal. That's the goal for the channel. And what's even more cheesy is that I don't know what I'm gonna do next after Final Fantasy X because that's gonna be my high point. I'm gonna, I, cause I wanna stream it, I wanna have an audience, I wanna connect with people that have played Final Fantasy X and I wanna get their opinions on it and stuff like that. You know, fan theories or whatever. And so once that happens, I that's gonna probably gonna be the high point. And I think that will probably set the pace up for me as to what I wanna do with this channel in terms of leaving it as a Let's Play. Or maybe potentially just leaving it there. Maybe I just got my my, my fix, you know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's that's the goal for the channel. Um, but as of right now, I'm enjoying playing all these random games, whatever. Because I'm also trying to expand my horizon. Um, I'm not trying to get away from that either. Uh, there's a lot of games that I didn't know existed. That I didn't even know existed that were just like, you know, oh my god, they're amazing. Okay, Lama Luya, yeah. Okay, so I died. Don't worry. The only difference between success and failure is that they're complete opposites. Okay, that's pretty cool. Cost of tax player was one million dollars. Damage taken, pints of blood spill, most lethal weapon, and kills. One thousand four hundred fifty-four. Okay, not bad. Well, we redeploy for the last time. This will be the final episode. All right, but um. But yeah, like I, was, like I was saying, I am enjoying all these new random games. Like this, for example, is like, I'm having fun for the moment. And I think that's what the game is supposed to be intended, is to play for the moment. There are also games like Alan Wake and Control that were in there for the story. And it was just like watching a movie. It was just amazing, you know? So, you stuff like that I'm starting to like rediscover. So, I, I, will, I will probably leave the channel running just to have that experience of playing new games that I didn't think were like possible to play. Random games or whatever. And plus, it's easier to record on the Xbox One, you know? I, I may ex Well, no, I may not. I'm not going to promise anything I can't keep. But uh, let's just say as of right now, it's pretty cool that Xbox has a Game Pass that I can discover games that I never really thought of buying. Because A, I'm a cheap ass, and because B, I don't know anything about the gaming industry. <laughs> so, I think I think it's pretty cool that I have the opportunity to do this. And plus, I want to share it with like you know other people and have blind experiences to figure out. Oh my God, this is what this game is about: llama fucking apocalypse, whatever, right? Like, oh, who would have thought of playing this game? This game is like way way out of there. But uh, yeah, so I I don't know. You know, I guess time will tell. As of right now, I am happy with, um, with the traction that I am getting, which is like a couple of views a week, uh, and probably one or two subscribers a week, if that, right? Maybe one a week. That That's that's amazing to me, because that's, that shows that the snowball is starting to pick up, I am starting to get some traction or whatever, and I guess time will tell, right? That, that's the only thing we'll leave it at, time will tell. Um, right now, I am happy with the schedule that I have, I love working uh, and then coming home to work to do this um i think that's just an awesome feeling knowing that this could be potentially be my second job right maybe who knows but uh don't ever put your eggs in one basket like obviously i had this panel up for a year haven't made a dime not planning on making a dime because if you start thinking of making a dime in this like youtube thing you're gonna end up broke so the fact that I have it as a hobby is like really, really good because it sort of takes your mind away from the money for a bit, right? And it just sort of focuses more on the game, which I think is a fantastic thing. Uh, being able to fully focus on the game and not realize, oh my god, this game is not bringing me money. Like, what should I do? Because then I feel like you would miss out on a lot of stuff about the game because your mind is focused on something else. So that's a, that's a pretty good, cool thing, you know, to know that... I think it's a good thing that I'm not making a dime because it makes me focus on the game. And plus, money's not an issue for me as of now because I'm working. Because thank God I still have a job. I'm like, you know, COVID didn't fuck my job up yet. I'm saying yet yeah, because it's still the, 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 it's still going up, the cases. So 
God knows what's gonna happen. But as of right now, things are copacetic, things are good. Um, and yeah, I'm just having fun making the Let's Play. I like how I used Llama Apocalypse as a venting platform. <laughs> that, that's just hilarious for me. <laughs> it took a stupid game like this to make me start venting about what the channel's gonna be. I was planning on doing a channel update, but I guess not. I mean, I guess I'll still do it, but I think Llama Apocalypse kind of covered it. <laughs> But yeah, this will be the last session for this game. I pretty much got the idea of the game. The game is just, uh... Kill llamas. Do what you gotta do. Kill the fucking llamas. <laughs> but it is a fun game. I can definitely see myself saving this game just to play when my, um... A friend comes over or whatever. I could just play this with them for a bit just to kill some time, shoot your shit, you know. I think that's pretty cool. Alright, um, I don't know if I'm gonna get far. I, I think I could probably get farther. Actually, uh, but then again, there's really nothing much going on. I mean, I pretty much have nothing else to talk about. Ooh, what is this? Oh, I thought I had a machine gun. Yeah, because, um, I'm pretty sure all the game is like this exactly the same. Alright, well, I guess that about does it then. Yeah, because, uh,. I actually have other games I'm planning on playing. I don't want to waste all of my Sunday playing this game. Even though the game, this game is cool. This game is really good. Uh, I have other things I'm planning on doing so I can start recording and, you know, sort of have a lineup for you guys for this week. So that about does it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed Bala Vicious Llama Apocalypse. Yeah, what a name, right? <laughs> But uh, yeah, thanks a lot. If you guys join me for part four, thanks a lot for tuning in. I don't know, what is it? Oh, ha 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 ha, hilarious, this game has jokes. <laughs> but anyway, thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Thanks for joining me if you guys joined for part 4, because I basically vented for all parts, right? <laughs> thanks for enjoy for uh, being with me while I vented. Uh, yeah, so take care, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys at the next part. Take care. <laughs>